How are we doing? Yeah, BBB is back and we're going to hit it off with this. Vanule Puros a la Habana. And I'm going to review the soap, the container, and the soap before I shave today for the simple reasons you'll understand in a minute if you've not seen any of um, Monica Gillum soaps. So you get a nice, good, sturdy steel container, no dents or nicks or anything like that. And it's a nice label. I, to, you, to me, it doesn't feel like it's um, waterproof, so I'm going to keep it out of water. Opening this soap, the scent, it just hits you. And we'll go over the scent in a minute, but if you have a look inside, you get this. The attention to detail is freaking awesome. So, yeah, her packaging gets a 10 out of 10 because, in all fairness, if you get that when you open up a soap, you know there's time, care and effort that's gone into it, so it gets a 10 out of 10 for me. And I like these metal tins, it's quite sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's um, a cheap metal one which is going to dink and dent easily. Right, so we go on to the scent. It smells like a Havana cigar, as simple as that. It's a nice strong tobacco scent. And I'll get a little hint of cinnamon in there as well, so pretty cool. It's a cool scent, so yeah. Right, to the shave. Um, I'm not blooming this. <coughs> Time for the gold dollar. I haven't used it for a little while. So yeah. Um, the Amiga. I have it on good authority. I think that the UKWSS brushes will be here at some point next week. So I'm just going to get the certificates done and then they should be getting sent off. In the next week or so. So, well, yeah, brush is all soaked. Let the lavering commence. So, yeah. I wanted to um, do the, the first bit, the, the review that I normally do at the end before I did that to it. It's not like a, it's more like a cream, croup sort of thing. It's the same sort of um, consistency as Peralso for me. So, um, I was having a chat with Dave but Manum, that's where I got it from. The uh, shaving tar, um, and in all fairness, it, it does demand quite a high price tag. I ain't gonna admit, lie that, but. When you look at the, the skin properties it has in the soap itself, like argan oil and cocoa and shea butter and stuff, you can understand why the prices are what they are. The lava feels nice and luxurious. But yeah, very good. I don't know if you see the video I put on yesterday, it's a bit more of a, just a chat and a bit more of a me being me sort of thing, but tonight's going to be a little bit more structured, so... And I've got to admit, this feels absolutely fantastic on the face. Normally with cinnamon, it normally burns the skin if it has got it in it, and I can't feel anything. It feels nice on the skin, so I'm happy. And nice and thick lava, which is good. Plenty in it. It's all just staying to the tips, so... It is just been... You can just smell the tobacco in it, so... Um, I've got... The Mondial, which is the green tobacco, um, and that's not strong compared to this. The scent on this uh, definitely easily gets a good nine, nine and a half to ten for me. So, well, I mean, I'm just going to warm the blade up. I'm not going to put it under running water. I've got a boiler not sink full of water here, so I'm just going to dip it in the hot water for two minutes. And so yeah, so, yeah. It's Saturday evening. I ain't going anywhere. I'm not feeling hundred percent. My grains, so I had to fall asleep for a little while. So, yeah, first pass. As you can see, it's 
really got that nice layer of cushion as well. Um, normally if I flat my blade under the, the water for a little while the soap comes off and it's not so it's quite a nice thick consistent soap so and the slickness is just unreal because I'm having to clean my blade I can only hold my soap my fingers but I'm having to clean it because my fingers are sliding over there. refreshed the edge on the, the dollar today um, which stopped it earlier for tonight's shave and on my my little strap on the back I've got a canvas side if you can see these two little uh, one of them is protruding at the bottom a little bit and I just <laughs> touch the edge of it just slightly um, and more than not me worrying as such I kind of had to just give it a little refresh with the gender films so I like the gender films, they're really easy to use. But it was nice to use it straight again. Okay, yeah, the first pass is complete. Let's go have a quick swill off. Okay, I've had a swill off, and the post shave feeling on this soap is fantastic. Um, it feels nice on the skin, it's a nice slickness left behind. So, yeah, really, really nice. And the scent is just beautiful. Um, I can't go on another better scent, I really, really like it. Um, right, first pass wasn't too bad actually, in all fairness. So, uh, let's see pass number two. Start the neckline straight across the grain against the grain side.
Okay, that can iron done. And do you want to see it? It's a nice down fine shave there. It's not baby but smooth, but I'll buff it up to get it baby but smooth today. the running water, I know some people don't really like it. I'll tell you what I have noticed, going out and about in a minute, how many people are walking around with beards? Okay, don't get me wrong, it's all good and well having a beard, but it carries so much shite, it's on a mirror. And in all fairness, it looks unmanly. Oh, I look like a man, I've got a beard. Sod off. You only get real man status when you can shave one of these. No criticism because some people can't shave these, they can only shave a DE because of shudders and stuff. I'm not calling, not calling you. <clears throat> I mean, I just don't like beards. I know full well. I'm three days of no shaving and I'm itching like, well, like I've got crabs in all fairness. So second pass is all done. Twill off. Okay, have a fully the neckline. Oh, I've just got a little bit of a touch up just here today. And if I go against the grain on the face, I will be pretty much to the point of Smoothness. Okay, as you can see, the lava consistency with this, okay, and that hasn't changed much throughout the shave, even with. You, be extra water on the face from rinsing and stuff. So it's a solid, solid performance. So where I want to be. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, against the crane. Water in my eye.
happy days. I'm done and I'm happy. Sorry. Cold swill, two seconds. It's phenomenal. Moist, clay field. Nice and toned. Feels like it's had a nice, actually, a top of the range skin care product on it. I've, um, Missy's have got some of that anti aging stuff, and I've tried that, and that's the sort of firmness I'm getting from it. So, hey, being bold, you've got to look good. But you know, that's stuff, fantastic. Um, I'm still plenty loaded on the brush, in all fairness, I could do my head, but not today. Um, right, so we've got me, me, me review on the label, and on the tin, and the packaging. I had to do the, the, the packaging before I did that to it, so. So performance. Yes, it's up there with the best. It's up there with the likes of x -Bec and the Mondial, and the Katie's, and it's up there easily. It gets a solid, solid nine for me for performance. The slickness, the cushion, it's fantastic. My my razor glided over it in all fairness with it there today, and yeah, I'm mega, mega chuffed with it. Does it demand a high price tag? Yeah, it does. I won't say it's high. I think it's about twenty two ninety nine. Okay, where well, you looking at it expects thirty two quid? Yes, it does. It's brilliant, brilliant stuff. And Monica Gillum, I think it's Monica Gillum. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. She has done one fantastic, fantastic job. I know she gave Liam Hanlon some stuff. Um, and in all fairness, I've seen some of the, the other soaps with the bright blue and uh, the attention to detail is fantastic. So yeah, this gets a solid nine and a half to nine for performance. It is up there with the best. Um, how does my face feel after the show? Fantastic. Probably one of the best post-show feelings I've had from a soap. Um, in all fairness, so yeah, I'm mega mega chuffed. So that, in all fairness, moves up to the top three soaps. So I've got the expect number one. This will move into the number two spot. It's that good. So yeah, um, and my number three is in my Katie Bubbles, but this is mega. Sorry, Chris, but really really like this. And I love the scent. So. To finish, I haven't got anything tobacco scented to finish, so what have we got here? Stuart Carolyn sent me some of this. This is Iceberg Aftershave Gel. Um, if I can get into it, I'll open it. There it is. So that's what I'm going to try today. I've not used this before, so you'll get a double whammy set. Not wise, I know, but here we go. Smells okay. It's a nice scent on that to show you. I wouldn't say it complements the soap of the shoes, but it's it's nice. It's, I would show you it again, but it's ended up in the water in the sink. <laughs> Let's drain the sink. There's still plenty in there to be used in all fairness, but there we go. Now I'm not going to be used again, but yeah, quite nice. Nice scent, not um, 
It's not burning the skin, so I got close, but I got close, but I didn't get too close. If you know what I mean. So yeah, well, there we go. So Vanille, the soap of the gods. Gives the big bull bastard thumbs up. Fantastic. Um, gonna purchase some more. To honest, you got this stuff is fucking awesome. If you need any, shaving time has it. Um, you won't be disappointed. I know some people have used the XPEC and they didn't find it to be as what everybody says, but in all fairness, it's still around. I love it. Um, I've got LPL as well. This is really, really good. It isn't like the top, top soaps. It's up there with it, but in all fairness, I like it. And in all fairness, it does still make my skin tingle. So it doesn't do any damage to it or burn it on it. I just think it's just a formula. Um, but yeah, I've got, where is it? I've still got this to try. See, I bloomed this and I've let the bloom water dry out. And it's taken away the fatty smell. It's actually brought out a block of black cologne, cologne sort of smell to it. So now this might actually get used instead of being launched out the window. It doesn't smell too bad now, so yeah, I might actually use it. But that's the next one, and I've got, well, I've used this, but this is wicked. I really, really like this. But it's one of them. I've got Macaroo as well, but there we go. Right, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you didn't, then I'm fair enough. Fair enough. But if you did, I appreciate it. Um, Iceberg aftershave balm, really, really good. I like it. I like skin tone and qualities. But, and it is an icing on a cake. Vanille. Excellent job. Excellent soap. And the scent. It's just out of this world. It really is lovely. So, yeah. Right, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. No doubt I'll be back with a. Another one at some point. Clean the brush, sorry. Um, yeah, so. Hang on, before I disappear, I'm just clean the brush out. I love this brush, right? It blooms fantastically once it's wet. When she dries, she stays like it, but if I put it on the stand, it ends up closing up like that. So, I like a decent blooming brush. And you can still smell it, so got a strong scent it's lingering as well so it's lingering on the bristles which is really good you can't beat a good tobacco scent inside but yeah that's it enjoy catch you on the next one